Welcome to version 1.1 of my fire detection and suppression uh, video um, and my simulation that I've created using macros on Microsoft Windows Excel. Uh, there was a comment after the last uh, posting I put, I know it was some time ago but I've moved jobs and I've been a bit busy, um, about the fact that the QRH says that you should fire the number one bottle off first and I had it set as you fired the on-side bottle. I've changed that now, so hopefully um, it will be in line with what the QRA says. So just before, as before, um, with my other simulations, I have a little help button, uh, which when I click on that will bring up a selection or a list of topics that might help you when you're running the situ simulation. Uh, we go back to the front page. I've got a link to the QRH. So you can see that we've got a little QH here, so, and as it says, um, when it goes through, set the fire extinguishing switch to bottle one, and in, in the air, set the fire extinguishing switch to bottle one. And then if the fire doesn't go out, then you select bottle two. Uh, as I said, this is what was wrong with my first video, so hence I've changed it. Um, when we look at the simulation again, um, again, as with my other ones, yeah, I've got a little info button here, which calls up some pictures. Uh, of the equipment in uh, in question and also um, some of the blurb which you'll find in the AMP um, and the panel again with some blurb below it. Uh, we can get rid of that by clicking on the info button. Uh, here is another link to the help button here and another link to the QRH so you can keep referring back to it. Here we've got the attempts and we can put the fire out in one go or we can use both bottles and at the top here we've got a button which generates a fire randomly in the number one or number two engine so when we click on the fire button engine two fire engine two fire okay i've actually managed to get the um the actual audio caption off of x planes um i managed to uh, extricate it from there so we've got the fire we've got the fire in the number two engine we then need to arm the system by pressing the button okay we get this little uh, prompt to come up to tell you that the fuel heat uh, the fuel fuel and heater shut off valves close that was another comment which was in um, after the last video so I've included that and then we will click on the bottle caption here to fire the bottle off on the number one side. So we flick the switch across, okay, and we can see that the hot extinguishing gas goes through the crossover and up into the engine. And fortunately for us today, yeah, the fire has gone out. And you can see here we've got the number one fire extinguisher is now empty, which is the maintenance caption that you will get um, in the aircraft if you fire the bottle off. So when we reset that, um, it refills the bottles. Don't say it's simpler than when you do it in the aircraft. And if we select two attempts and we set fire again, uh, again. Engine two fire. Engine two fire. I promise you there is a random thing, but obviously there's only two. There's only two to choose from, so it's a bit difficult to um, predict what's going to go off. Um, but again, we've got an engine fire at number two side. So again, we'll arm the fire bottles. Yeah, we get our warning. We click on the button, and we fire off the extinguishing, and we get a number one fire extinguisher empty. In this instance, though, we've been unlucky, and the fire hasn't gone out. So now we're going to fire the second bottle off. Okay, and this time the fire's gone out and we've used both bottles so we get a maintenance caption saying that both bottles are empty. Okay, so that's fire detection and the suppression system. The other thing that I've got on here is the overpressure. What happens if you get an overpressure? Uh, it happens on the number two bottle um, and it uses the auto-generated speech which is in Excel. Okay, so that's where you get this robotic voice. I do apologize. But it runs through what happens um, is if, if you get an overpressure in the number two bottle.
internal pressure rises to 2,311 to 2,511 pounds per square inch gauge at 110 degrees Celsius 230 degrees Fahrenheit before the primary safety relief valve operates. The disc on the fuselage bursts to show red. It runs through it automatically, you don't have to do anything. If primary valve fails, Secondary valve will operate at 3,134 to 3,434 pounds per square inch gauge at 110 degrees Celsius 230 degrees Fahrenheit. Either secondary valve could open first, therefore allowing the gas to dump into either engine bay. Okay then, so that's the system. So as you can see you can operate or you can generate a fire in either engine um, and put it out with one or two bottles and you can run through what happens if you get a overpressure situation in one of the fire bottles okay guys I hope that uh, is better than the original one okay I am going to make these available to purchase um, in the very near future I apologize it's been a long time since my last post but as I said I've moved jobs and I've uh, I've moved different to a different country and I've, I've had a lot of a lot of catching up to do and a lot of new work to create so that's why it's a bit uh, a bit of a long time between posts I hope you like it uh, please leave a comment please subscribe to the channel if you like it and uh, I'll see you again soon thank you